Hi, my name is Moses. I'm eight years old, and I am here at Kalo Outreach. Hi, Daniel Molina here, and wow, what a great turnout. There's so many people came here, so many different ministries, so many nonprofits, so many representing different churches. We came together to help this community. This is where Aloha is, and this is where Aloha in action comes together. People are struggling out there, yeah? Mm -hmm. And by the grace of God, we are here to love everyone. Hey man, so it's about unity, guys. If you can come together and unite and help everyone out. There's so many ministries, so many churches, so many nonprofits represented today, and we're coming together to serve this community. So we're serving one community at a time to share the love of Christ. Even though we may not know each other on a personal level, we can still come together to help those who just need that encouraging hand. Thank you to the residents of this community so that we can bring this beautiful place that will have the peace and the harmony and the love. Come out, get your hands dirty. There's a lot of great people. Um, it's a great workout, but also giving back and uh, more importantly, being part of a larger community, which I think is really important right now. Yes, uh, un unity together and coming for one purpose. And that really is to help the people here in the homeless shelter, which no longer are homeless because they have homes and providing sustainable food that really takes care of the land. Me and my brothers from the Hope Center Ministries of Kailua are um, here um, grading, moving rocks, and then cutting down trees. What do you think about what's going on here? I love it because I'm a Hawaiian myself and I love that they're trying to keep the plant the kaolo and they make more gardens and stuff. If you've seen past footage, you can see what it was and what it is today. Um, we're around the corner from them being able to harvest from this land. Um, and I love seeing so many people just working together. But when you have a community coming together, just moving rocks becomes something that can happen in a couple hours and building flower beds and cutting and clearing, clearing the foliage and and just doing all these amazing planting things. I'm, I'm super excited. There's so many people with great energy. There's lots of food going in the ground. And we're, we're all learning together. This is a learning experience for everyone. We may have differences in what we think about other things and doctrine issues or whatever it is, but we're coming together under unifying in love and furthermore unifying in the love of Christ. And so if we can come alongside serving everyone to share the love of Christ, then people could say, man, I want a piece of that action. I see so much joy in your life. I see so much love in you. What do you have that I don't? And then we can introduce them to Jesus Christ, which is the ultimate goal, right? So serving our communities, it's amazing. It's the fruits of the labor, just like how Jesus says, for the fruits of the Spirit, this could be somebody's fruit of the Spirit to get them out here, get your hands dirty a little bit and have fun. There's a lot of great people out here. It's family time, but it's part of something bigger. And we're, we're helping people and we're working together to achieve a goal and um, we're doing God's work. But together we will make this a really successful community project, you know. This place is so bountiful, full of love and energy and what a great weekend. Come on over. <laughs> so if you want to be a part of this, we're going to have way more opportunities the second Saturday of every single month. Go to coloroutreach.com. You can donate, you can learn how to volunteer, and you can learn how to pray for us because we need a lot of prayer and your support. If you can't come back here because some kind of health issues, it's okay. Just pray for us. That's just as powerful as being hands and feet literally on the ground. And so hope to see you next time.